To grind it out a little bit on offense, just how big is it for him to, to be able to carry the jail and carry the ball 34 times and, and do what he did? It's huge. I mean, he, he is such a he's such a huge rock for us, and we can really lean on him when we need to. Um, and he will always get those dirty yards for us, and he's a great back. And I love the fact that I get a chance to block for him. What were we expecting from this front? What do you guys think he just did so well just blocking? What were sort of keys that keeping him out of the back? Uh, I mean, we just found plays that worked for us uh, through film study, and you know, just being able to understand that you know, if we run this certain play, if we run it different play, it will work versus their defense. Um, I don't think they showed as, as much as they did in past years. Um, they used to game and twist a lot more than they did tonight. Uh, but they did get it in bear a little bit, and uh, that was that was hard to run against, which is always hard to run against a big filled-up box. But um, I'm very proud of what we did and, and how we schemed them and how we are able to, you know, correct ourselves when they did something good. How were you, I mean, how good were you guys just in the one-on-one, -on -one, you know, blocking and just basically just keeping them out? How, how I mean, very well. As, as you can see, I mean, we didn't let up a sack, which was, you know, a big point. And, you know, they always talk about their defense ends and how good they are and, you know, all their D linemen and how they can get to the get to the quarterback. And, you know, not having a sack is a huge accomplishment on our part. You, you talked this week about getting better by playing great defensive ends and guys like Shane Ray. What was this one like for you? I mean, they're obviously a little bit younger, but they're really talented. Could you tell us some of yourself how much better you've got? Definitely, definitely. Um, I, I've been watching Missouri. I knew uh, Charles Harris, number 91, from last year he played. Uh, and he was Shane's backup, and I knew he was a very good player. I watched him in his spring game this past year, and I knew he was going to be, you know, the tough defensive end that I faced this year. Um, the guy's really got to watch out for him. I mean, next year he's going to be very good, and he's going to be the next Missouri defensive end to come out um, and, and be a really good draft pick. So. As an offensive line, do you feel like this is the best game you guys have played this year? I mean, I know you guys have run well in other games, but to not give up a sack and to put those kinds of numbers to running game? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, you know, we're very proud of every game that we played, but it, this one is this one's a big one. Um, you know, we weren't able to do much at all the past two years versus their defense, and they've been very good. Um, and we finally, you know, like we said earlier, got that monkey off our back. We're able to, you know, pound the rock and, and keep Dobbs clean, uh, and and it got us to a thousand yards rushing. It's, it's another huge thing. And I'm so proud of everybody on the offense and all the O linemen for, for grinding it out. What do you think this win overall says about this, the way this team plays? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it, it's just great to see us finish. Uh, earlier this year, you know, as an offense, we, you know, that four-minute drill came up, and we never really completed it. You know, we never really got down and got some first downs and uh, kept the defense off the field. And, and this game, we did. We did it when we needed to. We got first downs. We kept the clock running, um, and that's a huge testament to how much we've been working. And you know. Uh, Everything that the guys do in the weight room, in the in the film study, you know, all that stuff made us better and better every week. How big is it, you know, in your senior year to, to your last year here to get the Missouri monkey off the back, get the Georgia monkey off the back, you know, back to back bowl eligibility and have the opportunity to finish with the best regular season record which he's finished with until seven. How yeah. big is that? Uh, it's a great feeling to leave it like this. I wouldn't want it any other way. I, I love every guy on this team, and I'm, I'm very happy. That, you know, everybody's played over this whole year, um, and you know, just a great team that we've become. Um, and, you know, we're heading for as many wins as possible, and I, I'm ready for this program to be turned back around. Um, and like you said, back in '07 was the last time we had a really good record. We went to SEC championship, so we're trying to we're trying to head for that. That's 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 the next goal. What would you say to those more guys in the team in the season that really brought the team together and made this push down the stretch? I think it was two things. Uh, Georgia win and Alabama loss kind of turned us around. And Georgia win, <clears throat> we saw it as you know we can come back on anybody. Um, you know we can play great defense. Uh, we can actually win against a top ranked guy. Um, and then. The Alabama game, it came down so close in the past two years, I and mean, it was just blowouts. And, you know, they've always just had us, and I think we scared them a little bit and let, let them know that, you know, we're not, we're not little brother anymore. We're not going to get pushed around by anybody.
Um, this is definitely a turning point for Tennessee Vols. And um, after I finish this season, I can't wait to come back and watch them win even more. Thanks, guys. Yeah.